I'm doing a quick giveaway of the new Lumberjack DLC and there's going to be two winners and to enter all you have to do is like this video, be subscribed and leave a comment. Before we continue further with this video, let me quickly thank today's sponsor, Rusty Loot. Rusty Loot is the new West Rush gambling site bringing you the best design game modes such as Upgrader, which features the dome from Rust, exciting new ways to play mines against your friends, or an all new spin on wheel which lets you win a part of bonus spots, which build up over time no matter your bet size. And they are one of the first sites to reward their players with insane rakebacks and other rewards. Plus, they have all your favorite skins to win, and for a free 500 coins, head over to rustyloot.gg and click free coins and type in my code FADED. And don't forget to gamble responsibly. What the fuck is this piece of shit?
Now to start a build off, just build a basic 2x1. And for the airlock, use a double door frame and a single door frame. Okay, now just wall in the footprint. And when it comes to tool cover placement, um, place it on the left side of the base. Um, where your door is. It will just cause less problems when we're building the bunker later on. Now you can go outside and build this little shelf um, for boxes. Yeah, that's basically it. Now just place your deployables. On phase 2 we're gonna be building a bunker, so start off by placing these two triangle foundations. On this triangle you can place a full wall and a single doorway. And when you're placing the door, make sure it is opening inwards. I'm just gonna replace some wooden doors to metal ones. Okay, now to build a bunker, on this triangle place two half holes like that. They have to be half holes. Now for the jump up, if you don't have a ladder, you can use a furnace also. Now let's real quick build a chute for our bunker. And now to close the bunker, just pick up this furnace, place this triangle twig floor here and a triangle roof on top and upgrade it to stone. Now to start this phase off, I'm gonna upgrade the base to its final stage just to save some time, but if you don't have the material side now, you can just progress your way through, upgrade it to metal and then high quality metal if needed. Now this is very important, don't forget this, um, when you upgrade the bunker walls to metal, make sure to upgrade this doorway to metal as well. Now after upgrading the base, you can real quick honeycomb it. And let's build a stone jump up to the base. Now to start off this phase, let's real quick build an entrance and then the second floor. Make sure that this wall is facing hard side towards your entrance and now just wall in this footprint. Make sure that this wall is upgraded to stone and place another stone wall right here.
Now to build these loot rooms, place a half wall and a half height floor on top. And then when placing these ramps, make sure to place the bottom ramp first and then the top one. Because if you do it otherwise, you're not going to be able to place the bottom one. And do the same thing on the other square loot room. Now on this triangle we can place our locker and make sure to place it as close to the window as possible. Um, now to correctly place these two vending machines, there should be a gap in between them so you can reach the locker. Um, this is pretty tricky so I highly recommend trying it on a build server first before using it in game. Okay, now we can honeycomb the base real quick. Okay, now we can start building the third floor. And it's basically the same as second floor, but instead of these um, loot rooms on these squares, we're gonna be building bedrooms. So here is going to be our jump up and make sure that this wall is facing hard side towards it. And yeah, now all that's left is just to build loot rooms and bedrooms. So just follow my steps. And yeah, this floor is finished. Now all that's left is just to close it in with a ceiling and build a chute. Okay, at this stage now we can start building the compound and external pool cupboards. And let's start by placing these twig triangle foundations. 
then two squares and a triangle on the end. Now you can remove the twig but leave this triangle like that. And now I just build back with triangles and follow my steps. And these two end triangles has to be raised. I'll do the same thing on this side. Then remove this twig as shown and you should have something looking like this. Now just upgrade these foundations to metal. Now come up to the side of the base, place a square and two triangles on the ends. And this is going to be our little um, respawn point. Now do the same thing on the other side. And now to build the foundations from the back, just repeat the same steps that we did on the front. Now connect all of them with metal wall frames. And now to build the external TCs with gatehouses, just follow my steps. Now the wall facing towards the base has to be built of two half walls. And yeah, that's one side finished. Now I just repeat the same steps on the back of the base. Now when you have done that, let's quickly honeycomb these parts of the base. Now we can quickly build these compound peaks.
Now to place this locker so that it sticks out through the roof. Um, when placing it, make sure that its feet are touching these foundation lines. Now just place these two triangle roofs. And just don't forget to lock your locker. And yeah, that's basically how it's done. And now do the same steps on the other side. Now we can build the compound. And placing these walls like that, it's pretty tricky, so I highly recommend practicing placing them in a building server. And now we can build our shooting floor. So on these raised foundations place only two story high wall frames and on the lower ones you can bring up the wall frames to the top. Just like that and do the same thing on the other side. Now just follow my steps on how to place these floors. Now on the lower floors place these um, low walls and they're gonna be your breach pits. Now if you can't place this ramp here you will probably need to pick up the bed underneath.
And now let's build the core of the shooting floor. Now if you're gonna be placing a battery here, I recommend upgrading these two walls to metal. And now we can finish off building the shooting floor and the roof of the base. I'm gonna make a quick build montage, so just follow my steps and it should be pretty simple. Thank you. 